Hello again, RX Plus viewers, and welcome to another edition of Doc on Duty. And we received a letter from Sunshine de la Fuentes Agas tungkol sa kanyang sakit sa balat. And this is what she wrote. Pag ang skin condition mo ba may ichthyosis vulgaris, parang skin fish yung pa. May posibleng treatment ba para maging okay yung skin? Okay, Sunshine, we have an expert from the Los Santos Medical Center to answer your question. Dr. Mary Elizabeth Danga, ano po ba ang problema sa balat ni Sunshine? So thank you, Dr. Cecil. So ichthyosis vulgaris, tama ka, it's a parang fish condition kasi parang dry na dry yung balat. Mukha talaga siyang scales ng fish. That's why ichthyosis. Ngayon, there are other causes niya. One is it could be an autosomal, parang genetic, mana-mana. So it could be generalized or it could be just localized. Ibig sabihin ng generalized, buong katawan, meron, or localized, parte lang ng katawan. So depende kung anong meron yung pasyente. So may gamot dyan, don't worry. But of course, if it's genetic, Ibig sabihin, medyo mahirap gamutin yon Dahil innate na, nasa katawan mo na yun, nasa part ng DNA mo na yun. Pero if it's acquired, commonly because of dryness sa balat, I can see it sa patients who are really old, kasi sobrang nawawala na yung moisture nila sa balat, that's why nagkakaroon ng ichthyosis. Or sa mga patients na may mga sakit sa balat na, na yung tinatawag natin atopy, madaling nag-dry yung balat nila. So I can see this kind of disease sa mga patients na yun. So, if it's localized, only a, a part of your body, mas madaling gamutin. Symptoms actually, well, slightly it's, it's drying. Parang, kumbaga drying, medyo makate. But some patients don't really experience yung ganun eh. Wala talaga silang nararamdaman. Nakikita lang nila pahangit tignan. Kasi mukha nga ang fish. Parang mga malalaking scales ng fish sa balat. So they're really bothered because of that. But not because of the symptoms. Kasi mostly, wala namang symptoms yan. Except for may, maybe konting pangangate. We give the right emollients. We give the right um, uh, parang peeling effect dun sa patient. So, tatanggalin natin yung dryness ng balat. Pero, of course, you can't buy that emollients anywhere else. So, we have, kailangan talaga muna makita siya ng dermatologist. So, para malaman natin if it's autosomal ba, parang kumbaga genetic, or it's just acquired. Yung sinabi ko na baka nakukuha lang sa mga um, dahil sa environment, ganyan. Kung genetic siya, ibig sabihin mana-mana. So, that's mas ma mahirap na gamutin yun. So, kailangan mo na magpatingin mo na siya sa dermatologist para ma mabigyan siya ng sapat at tamang gamot. So, Sunshine, don't lose hope. Um, uh, the first thing that you have to do is see a board-certified dermatologist, uh, PDS-certified. So, come and see us here in De Los Santos. There are a lot of um, professional dermatologists here that are ready to help you. So, um, if you come and see us, we'll give you the right uh, advice and the right treatment for your case. Thank you, Doc Mary Elizabeth Danga, for your reply. And sana, sunshine, may napulot ka sa mga sinabi ni Dr. Elizabeth. And for those of you who have questions regarding your health concerns, just go to our Facebook page and leave your questions in our inbox. Again, this is Doc Cecil, your Talk on Duty.